the PI, that's Principal Investigator, of the Voices of the Future project, leading a multidisciplinary team of researchers spanning the sciences, social sciences, education and creative arts, working in partnership with community organisations, schools, policymakers and professionals. We aim to engage young people, particularly in urban areas, in recognising, valuing and promoting UK treescapes. Our argument is that most urban treescapes are little regarded, but may provide much needed carbon sequestration and storage to meet our future climate objectives. There are also the UK treescapes that are most closely associated with our own personal lived experience. We need to engage the citizens of tomorrow in understanding how these treescapes work and why they matter. Our project will evaluate how young people relate to and engage with the trees that surround them, especially those children living within com commonly marginalised backgrounds whose voices are rarely heard. We want to explore the, the opportunities and the tensions associated with tree planting and tree protection to inform best practice for the inclusion and empowerment of young people in the landscape and urban planning process. Our project will then apply innovative new methods of laser scanning and 3D X-ray imaging to assess the carbon sequestration and storage of urban trees in Northern Britain. By quantifying this carbon store, we can twin the evolving carbon footprints of children and young people with their local treescapes, thus offering a tangible means by which the citizens of the future can value the treescapes that surround them. Embedding this science within social science and education, our research team will encourage young people to find their sense of ownership and belonging in the treescapes of the future. We aim to offer children and young people hope and empowerment in envisaging their future relationship with treescapes and how this contributes to UK and global climate mitigation ambitions. This empowerment will be transformed through collaborations with teachers and curriculum makers into the learning of tomorrow. Finally, we will also plant treescapes and produce a strategy for the expansion of community forests in the northwest with local, regional and national organisations. Our hope for the COP26 meeting is that the delegates will recognise and listen to the voices of young people and to build them into actions that arise from the meeting. Children and young people of today will be tasked as adults with delivering the ambitions of COP26 and they need to be valued and empowered to become the labour that meets this greatest of challenges. Mm -hmm.